Hey, what's up, guys? So, today we're talking about plugins that will help you accelerate your workflow in Figma. Let's start. Hey, guys, now we're back in Figma. Before I proceed to show you the rest of the amazing plugins, I would show you guys how to install plugins on your Figma. So the first thing you do is um, go to the community. Then you click on the plugin section. It's already clicked. Let me. So you click on the plugin section. Then um, is either you click install. Or you um, click on the plugin icon and then you install it from here. If you are trying to install an plugin. You would um, hover around it, you see the uninstall button and you uninstall it. Easy peasy. So the first plugin I'll be talking about is Unsplash. So Unsplash. <laughs> Unsplash um, helps you find beautiful pictures, high quality pictures for your UI designs. So you don't have to go through the hassle of going to the website, downloading those pictures or copying those pictures from the website. And um, so let me show you how it works. So um, first of all, you click the frame or the shape you want the picture to be inserted. Go to plugins, then you scroll to unsplash. So run on splash. And here you are able to start beautiful pictures, and you can also search for pictures different categories like animal, abstract, art, interior, food. So let's search for food. Okay. Same thing goes for this one. So the next plugin we'll be talking about is um we'll be using is um UI gradient. So what it does is it basically helps you um add gradient to your um, designs. Because initially when I started UI design, I had a very hard time um using gradients and to combine those colors. So what it does is just helps you get beautiful gradients. So let's see how it, how it works. So um First, you have to click on the frame or the um, or the shape that you want to apply the gradients on, and you put the plugin. Scroll to UI gradient, and you would you have to wait a bit. Okay, and you see numerous beautiful gradients you wish to apply. What you do is just have to click on them. Very easy, one of the easiest ways to get it. Um, so the next plugin we're we'll talking about is a plugin called Stack. So what it does is that it helps you um it helps you accessibility in the sense that it helps you check the const the con that's the game. So the next plugin we're talking about is Stack. So what it does is that it helps you um, check for accessibility. It says that it helps you check the contrast between two elements. Let's see how it works. Okay, so this button, you can clearly see that this button is not, the contrast between them is between the text and the, um, the button around it isn't that great. So we we'll try this. So we, the thing is we have to select what rectangle and the text, the text so um we are going to click, we are going to look for um the stack plugin in our plugin section and the contrast you know your closing up parts 
So, and good thing that it gives you um, suggestions on how to make um, better colors. And um, yeah, that's all. So the next plugin we'll be talking about is or we'll be using is spell. What it does is it helps you um, check out your spelling errors. So it's and similar to something like um, grammar. If you guys are similar to it. So, um, sorry for the noise and I to a farm. So, um, okay, now let's check it out. So, the first thing you want to do is um, run the plugin. Click on what you want to check. Um, run the plugin. Spell. <clears throat> so, what it, so, what it, so, what it do is give you an act um, a license key you have to input your email but i already have a license license key so i would activate it and um, the license key activate start spell checking so um it was error I wanted to write button, so instead of you, I put an So it would give me um, suggestions. So I'll just accept it and let me change it. Easy. So um, the next plugin I'll be talking about is Move BG, Remove Background. So what it does is it helps you remove, the mask light helps you re um, remove background from pictures. So, um, it works. So the first thing you want to do is select the picture from which you want to move the background from and go to your plugins. If you are a first time user, you have to um, set API key. First, you have to create a website, a free account, then you have to um, find your API key. So I've already created my account, so let me find the API. Set. Then I think you have to go back to it and um, simple. Background has already been removed. Or if you um if you don't want to add a color, you just um move it from here and there you have it. To scale it. So the next plugin we'll be talking about is um, Marshall Design Icon. So basically, the Marshall Design is um, Google's design system. So um, or Android, that's what they use. So what this does is basically gives you um, the icons without you going through the stress of going to a website and downloading those icons. So let's say it works. So um, the first thing you want to do is um, you right click. 
then you print the icon. Then you set an edit size. Um, this is by Google, so this is free. That must buy icon sound free. So if you want to use an home icon, boom. For you, um, let's see. Um, yeah. Yeah, so the next plugin would be chat. So what it does is it helps you um design chat. <laughs> That's what it does. Instead of you trying to um waste time or um waste unnecessary time. So okay, starting again. So what? So starting again. The next plugin we're talking about is um, chat. Like the name suggests, it helps you create chat basically, and that's all, that's all it does. So instead of you wasting time trying to um, design chat, what it does is just, you just click it and it helps you create the chat. So um, let's say it works. So the first thing you want to do is um, click on the shape, on the shape, or you create a rectangle first. Then or a circle, whichever way, whichever shape you want the chart to be in. And then you click on you right click, then you click on plugins, then you see find charts, then you see create chart. And um here you can click the number of lines, number of points. max value and the minimum value, let's say, um, and you can click the, and also edit the distribution, and or turn down, how much distribution or mixed, so let's take mixed, and um, so the good thing about it is that you can easily edit the um, data. And you can, I guess you can also um, change the colors. Yeah. So, um, is this for that? I didn't request this for that. Yeah. Um, the next plugin we would be using is but uh, so what it does is it helps you um okay answer so the next plugin we'll be talking about is avatar what it does it just helps you add up um shit so the next plugin we'll be talking about is avatar so it just helps you um add random people's um, images like facial images to um your avatars let's say you want to create something like a profile and you don't have anybody's picture to use instead of you going to google to search you could just use the avatar so let's say i worked what you want to do is first of all you would 
click on the shape that you want the avatar to fill then you go to your plugins and avatar and randomly generate okay. randomly generate um, avatars for you Do the same thing here I hope this was really educative and if you have any plugin or plugins I missed or did not mention, please let us know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you.